objective geology multiple choice questions with answers so this is uh, cbrt assistant hydrogeologist 2019 solid question paper and i hope this is useful for various competitive exams like csr net gate gsi and other exams welcome to set one coming to the first question which one of the following minerals has highest susceptibility to weathering choices given are a olivine b pyroxene c muscovite d quartz so obviously uh, olivine has the highest susceptibility to weathering because it has more uh, uh, olivine is most susceptible to oxidation because it has more iron content and uh, the ions which are released from the silicate minerals in the weathering process are sodium potassium calcium iron and magnesium ions so components of mafic rocks like olivine uh, which are solidified at very high temperatures so mafic minerals will decompose as a result of chemical weathering and more rapidly when compared to the other uh, type of uh, minerals so here a olivine is the correct answer next question the ridge like deposits of silt and clay along the borders of uh, the flooded rivers after a flood are known as a placer deposit b natural levees c scree d cuesta so a deposit of uh, sand or uh, mud which is built along and uh, sloping away from either side of the flood plain of a river or stream is known as a natural levy and uh, generally uh, natural levees are formed when a river or a stream or the waves of a lake or ocean uh, when they push um, or uh, the sediment against a bank and over time uh, these tiny deposits are built up and uh, they raise the bank and this process not only hardens the bank against the flowing river but it can also act as a barrier when storm surge takes place so ridge like deposits of sand and kill and the sand, uh, like uh, silt and clay along the borders of the flooded rivers after a flood are known as a natural levees next question which one of the following is not a sinkhole a uvula b pole j c solution pan and d lapis so the correct answer is d lapis so when a river uh, or when a water flows over a surface having limestone along uh, with other hard rocks lapis are formed and limestone being a very soft rock uh, the limestone uh, forming uh, several narrow and uh, deep trenches like uh, structures cliffs and uh, graiks they are dispersed by sharp pin like vertical pinnacles roughly parallel to each other so lapis is not a sinkhole so d is the correct option next question which one of the following is not related to glaciers a doline b fern c circuit d drumlins so which is not related to the glaciers so doline is not related to glaciers whereas a fern circuit and drumlins these are all related to glaciers and dolines these are formed by two main methods like uh, the slow solutional removal of rock from the surface downward or they may be also formed by the collapse of overlying rock or overlying material into an underground cave or a chamber this is also known as a collapsed doline so the correct option is a doline doline is not formed due to glaciers next question a graph showing percentage of the earth surface area as a function of elevation or depth relative to sea level is called a hypsometric curve b stress curve and c strain curve d creep curve so the correct option is hypsometric curve a a hypsometric curve is essentially it's a graph that shows the proportion of the land area that exists at various elevations by plotting a relative area against the relative height so the correct option is a hypsometric curve next question the process of sinking to maintain isostatic equilibrium during a cooling of the lithosphere is called a gravitational subsidence b thermal subsidence c continental rise d extensional collapse so the process of sinking to maintain the isostatic equilibrium during the cooling of the lithosphere is known as a thermal subsidence in geology and geophysics thermal subsidence it is a mechanism of subsidence in which conductive cooling of the mantle thickness uh thickens the lithosphere and it causes it to decrease the elevation so this is because of the thermal expansion as a mantle material cools and becomes part of the um, mechanically rigid lithosphere it becomes denser than the surrounding material so b thermal subsidence is the correct option next question regions where continental lithosphere is currently undergoing extension or underwent extension in the past are termed as a rifts b subduction c obduction d trench 
so the correct option is rift so rifting what is rifting rifting is defined as the splitting a part of the single tectonic plate into two or more tectonic plates which could be separated by divergent plate boundaries and the rifting of a continental uh, tectonic plate it creates uh, normal fault valleys which are uh, very small uh, tilted block mountains and volcanism also so a rifts is the correct option next question which one of the following margins represents plate boundaries options are a active continental margins b passive continental margins c active ocean margins d passive ocean margins so the correct option is a active continental margins active continental margins are referred as the pacific type margins which are the zones of uh, seismically active convergent bo plate boundaries and uh, these are characterized by subduction zones which are formed under variety of settings such as uh, oceanic 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 continental etc so active continental margins they represent the plate boundaries a is the correct option next question which one of the following back arcs is commonly called mariana type back arc a extensional back arcs b compressional back arcs c twisting back arcs and d couple back arcs so the correct option is a extensional back arcs inversely an over riding plate moving away from the trench will result in an extension and a back arc basin will form so this is how a back, back arc basin will form and this extensional uh, deformation is associated with a steeply dipping slab and the extreme cases of these uh, uh, two types of the back arc deformation it can be found in chile and at the marianas etc so a is the correct option extensional back arcs is the correct option next question which one of the following is an ore mineral of silver very simple question a arsenopyrite b argentite c cassiterite and d cerussite so silver uh, ore is argentite argentite it is a silver sulfide mineral it is an important constituent of silver ore deposits it contains 87% silver and it forms uh, blackish gray coatings or masses with a metallic luster and it has a shining black streak so this is a characteristic feature of argentite so ore mineral of silver is argentite b is the correct option next question which one of the following is a chrome bearing garnet so that means the garnet which contains chromium a grassular b uvarovite c spessartite and d pyro so option is uh, b is the correct answer you are right you are right is a chromium bearing garnet uh, group species and it has a formula ca3cr2sio4 taken thrice it's an isosilicate and it was discovered in 1832 by german henry hess who named it uh, after count sergi uvarov uh, which is during his uh, russian statesman and uh, amateur mineral collector so chromium bearing garnet is you are right b is the correct option next question which one of the following minerals shows piezoelectric property a garnet b apatite c quartz d orthoclase feldspar so quartz mineral it shows the piezoelectric property piezoelectricity is nothing but a polarization of uh, charge which is produced by pressure or applied stress and it occurs in many minerals and it is particularly strong in the quartz and uh, aggregates of piezoelectric grains are themselves piezoelectric if the grains are suitably aligned and such aggregates may said to have piezoelectric fabric so quad shows piezoelectric property so c is the correct option next question in isometric system a six faced solid in which each face cuts one axis and is parallel to the other two axis is known as a hexahedron b octahedron c rhombic dodecahedron d tetrahexahedron so the correct option is a hexahedron a hexahedron means hexahedra or hexahedrons or sexahedra that means it's any polyhedron with six faces a cube for example is a regular hexahedron with all uh, its faces square and three squares around each vertex so a hexahedron is the correct option next question an open form comprising two horizontal faces in normal class of tetragonal system is termed as a pyramid b dome c basal pinacoid and d prism so an open form comprising two horizontal faces in normal class of tetragonal system is termed as a basal pinacoid a pinacoid of two parallel faces uh, which intersect only the c crystallographic axis it's also called as a base and it's a synonym of basal plane or basal pinacoid so c basal pinacoid is the correct option next question which one of the following is the correct composition of troctolite so what is a troctolite that means what does the troctolite 
consists of a olivine and plagioclase b olivine and clinoperoxine c clinoperoxine and plagioclase and d clinoperoxine and orthoperoxine so troctolite means uh, the troctolite it contains olivine and plagioclase troctolite it has uh, it's a greek word uh, trout and stone trocto means troctol it's a green stone it's a mafic intrusive rock type and it consists essentially of major but variable amounts of olivine and calcic plagioclase along with minor pyroxene so pyroxene may also be present but it is in a minor pyroxene that means in low quantity and it is an olivine rich anorthosite or a pyroxene uh, which is uh, depleted relative of gabbro so the correct composition of troctolite is olivine and plagioclase a is the correct composition next question the degrees of freedom at peritectic point in binary peritectic system will be a 3 b 2 c 1 and d 0 so the correct option is 0 peritectic point is the point on a phase diagram where a reaction takes place between a previously precipitated phase and the liquid to produce a new solid phase so when this point is reached the temperature must remain constant until the reaction has run to complete so a perimetric is also an invariant point since there are uh, three phases in the system that is component a b and uh, other melt the system has no degrees of freedom so the degrees of freedom is zero d is the correct option next question which one of the following are the examples of layered mafic intrusion one bushwell igneous complex two still water complex c or three scare guard intrusion select the correct answer using the code given below A one and two only. B two and three only. C one and three only. D all the three like uh, Bushwell igneous complex, still water complex, and scared guard intrusion. So the examples of layered mafic intrusion are all like uh, Bushwell and then still water complex and scared guard intrusion, or are the examples of layered mafic intrusion. So the Bushwell igneous complex. This is one of the most mineral rich regions of the world, and this is due to Uh, an extremely rich saucer shaped geological formation that stretches over more than 50000 square kilometers and uh, so this is the bushwell complex is the largest layered mafic intrusion known on the earth and about the scare guard intrusion the concentrations of uh, um, gold and palladium are found uh, through the lower uh, of the three layers in the triple group and these are a result of series of processes in the solidifying magma in addition to the gold and palladium the mineralization contains titanium copper and gallium and uh, the minerals in the still water complex so the igneous rocks uh, are host to multitudes of economic mineral deposits of gold silver chromium nickel copper zinc which are the important components of the economies of canada australia and zimbabwe so all these are the examples of layered mafic intrusion so that's why d1 2 and 3 are the correct option so d is the correct option next question mineralogical composition of pulaskite rock is a olivine augite and calcic plagioclase b antiperthite egerine and nephelin c nephelin plagioclase and quartz d hypersthene diapside and augite so the mineralogical composition of pulaskite rock is pulaskite it is a variety of nephelin bearing alkaline feldspar cyanide and it containing uh, alkali feldspar and varying amounts of sodic pyroxenes and amphiboles and also phyllite that is olivine and biotite and minor amounts of nephelin so mineralogical composition of pulaskite rock it is antiperthite egerine and nephelin b is the correct option next question which one of the following is a diagenetic process a metamorphism b dissolution c deposit deposition of sediments and d palingenesis the correct option is dissolution so dissolution is a diagenetic process diagenetic is refers to physical and chemical changes that occur during the conversion of sediment to sedimentary rock including processes such as mineral dissolution precipitation and compaction so b is the correct option next question which one of the following is a unidirectional paleo current indicator a groove cast b symmetrical ripples c channel and score margins d cross bedding so the correct option is d cross bedding cross beds uh, they can tell geologists much about what an area was like in an ancient times so the direction uh, the beds that are dipping uh, which indicates the paleo current and the rough direction of the sediment transport so the type and uh, condition of the sediments they can tell the geologists the type of the environment like rounding sorting composition 
So cross bedding is a unidirectional paleo current indicator. D is the correct option. I hope uh, you have uh, followed these questions and uh, hope you can subscribe to this uh, Explore Geosciences and uh, see you in the next video. Your suggestions are most welcome. Thank you.